Not end up with three points against Margate today. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we, you know, we have dominated the second half. Um, in my opinion, completely not good enough in the first half. So how we want to play, you know, we work on things on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and you know, not to implement them on a, on a Saturday is very frustrating for me as a coach because you know we look so sharp in training, but yet yeah, sometimes it comes to the games, and you've got to respect the opposition for that as well. But you know, we don't, we're not passing. With enough per enough purpose, enough tempo, um, we're not moving enough. We're not moving enough off the ball to create angles in the first half, especially. But like you say, you know we've 
we've got this, obviously the, the man sent off, um, which in their in, in their opinion, in their, in their look at it, it's, it's a good foul from them, isn't it? So um, we've dominated the game, but we, we we can dominate games, but if we're not going to be clinical in front of goal, I'll lack that. We lack that composure and that finesse at the minute. And I've said to a few people, and they, then people know who they are. They need to start working on certain things, certain aspects of their, of their um, you know, abilities to, to score goals. And you know, if they don't, it's going to continue to, to miss some chances we get. How do you explain Bradley Lethbridge's couple of games without scoring? That's, that's Brad. I mean, Brad, Brad can only decide that. You know, Brad's a terrific player, but um, you know, I've asked him to do certain aspects of his game. And, you know, Bradley is in 24, well, not 24 7. He's got a football club to, to use every single day. Um, you know, I've, I've told him that he needs to practice more of his finishing uh, because everything else, you know, he's got in abundance. So, but, you know, as a centre forward, you judge on your goals. And I'm not saying Brad's not scored enough goals so far, but if he looks at it, if he's honest with himself, Look and he'll know that he should have had maybe six or seven more goals this season, which is a good thing because he's getting in them areas. But also that we, you know, we've just got to. You know, I, I firmly believe, you know, the first half, I thought we just thought we just had to turn up. We could win, you know. And uh, I told him at halftime that that ain't gonna happen. You know, do we actually think we're a better team than what we are? Yeah, because that's how it showed to me. Um, but you know, when you when you as a coach or as a manager, Jack is and. We give them something at half time and they respond. That tells you that they're on board and they, they understand the situation and what we're asking them to do. And in the second half, we play with a lot more purpose, a lot more penetration, and resulting in a lot of chances, you know, towards the end of the game that we should have scored. As it seems to be coming down to attitude, how can you and Jack install that, not discipline, but the change, change of attitude that clearly needs to happen to get the Rocks winning more games? Yeah, I mean, listen, we can't get carried away. We've lost the first game on Tuesday of the season. And we drew against a very well organised team. You know, make no bones it, in my opinion, they'll be in the top six. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're frustrated and disappointed that we haven't took our chances, but also you've got to give them credit because they're, they're a good outfit and they're well organised and they're very well managed. Um, but, you know, it's just frustrating that, you know, certain aspects of our, of, of our um, player is, is not up to scratch at the minute. But listen, everyone goes through, everyone goes through little situ certain situations, don't they, where they, you know, Everything's not flying. We're not, you're not beating Burgess, so no disrespect to them. 8 0. You're not beating White or 8 0. Well, why we're we not beating them teams? Because you've got to respect the opponents as well. And I, I'm not saying it in a bad way, I just don't think we respected them enough in the first half, which I thought they had in the first half. Need to ask you about Tommy Block's reaction as he's come off. He's obviously hit the dugout from what we've seen. I didn't what, see that. What, was your, what was your view on, on uh, Block's well, reaction? Yeah, listen, I mean, Block is, you can do that. You know, all I would say is. If Bobby's doing his job right on a Saturday or a Tuesday, the last couple of months, he wouldn't be sat with me, would he? So, if he wants to have a reaction like that, it's hopefully we'll see a, a reaction like that next Tuesday or this Tuesday, sorry, or the week coming or in training because, um, you know, we've got competition for places and there's people chomping at the bit and there's people who are on the bench who maybe deserve a little a little run of it now. So, you know, Bobby's got to be careful of reacting like that because, you know, what, you, what, what, what players don't understand is, is what it... He's trying to make a point to the stand, but actually he's disrespecting his teammates who were coming on the pitch. So, um, you know, that, that will be dealt, dealt with internally, uh, um, and that hopefully it won't, it won't happen again. Defensively, he must have been pleased today. After, obviously, a Tuesday night, we saw some individual errors. They look pretty solid today. In fact. Yeah, yeah. Listen, what you've got to understand, you know, we're playing a 17 year old kid who's had no experience of this football at this level. He's come straight out of one day in football, and he's done terrifically well. You know, he might lack a little bit of physicality, but what he's got is he's got he's, he's got a heart. He's got a big heart, and he wants to learn. He wants to and he wants to improve, and he will. He will. He's got that. Um, you know, he's got that willingness to get better. And I think you can see second half certainly he's grown in confidence as well. You know, I've asked in the two centre halves in the first half, we were passing 50, 30, 40 yards to the full backs instead of driving 20, then passing 20. You know, so we sort of evolved that a little bit, but you know, we've got to keep just keep doing what we're doing and keep plodding on and keep working these things because the vet, like you certainly seen that Maggot, they're well organised. And for us to, to upset that, you know, non league teams, they're not going to be as fit as permanent teams. So as long as we keep the ball, we keep the ball moving, we do the simple things, we've always got a chance of. Late on in the games, when the games get a bit stretched, for our quality, you come out on top.
Any news yet on any of your injured players, Dan, Corey or Keaton? Any no, of them close to return? Uh, no, I think Keaton and Corey are definitely still a good way away from it, which is disappointing, but listen, you know, that's life. And Smudge is probably two and a half weeks, maybe three weeks at a max, so, you know, it'll be, you know, all three of them. But I think the, the two I mentioned first, you know, they're a good way off, but, you know, obviously, that'll be, you know, massive for us in the final third to get Smudgy back. And a couple of different challenges ahead of you this week. Now you've got Hyde in the trophy on Tuesday, yeah. followed by Bracknell in the FA trophy Saturday. Yeah. Is that a nice, nice little break from the league? Is that, yeah, listen, it's, nice, it's nice to have every game, Steve, isn't it? You know, you want games, you want you want to be out on the football field, whether it's three o'clock or quarter to eight. You want that buzz, you want that excitement, the nerves of, of playing in big games. And the two big games for us, two cup games that we want to win. You know, we want to have a good cup run today, um, to, sorry, this season. and. Um, hopefully make up for the Sudbury defeat and you know we'll, 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 what you do know is uh, we'll, we'll be at it Tuesday to try and win the game Thank you very much Bobby. All right, boys.